It's happening, Buhari put to shame as Nigerians react. You, the leader of the pack, they come after you. It is the most shameful thing. Nigerians react to the terrorist attack on Buhari's convoy. President Muhammadu Buhari has been, you know, President Muhammadu Buhari, um, a lot has happened and um, the convoy he sent, okay, the, the, the entourage that goes ahead of the president when he's going ahead, when he's going to any place, there are a group of people, security details that goes ahead and ensure that, you know, the coast is clear before the president arrived, strategically positioned them, themselves in a particular place to ambush the president. They thought it was the president that was coming. But guess what? It did not quite work. Uh, people were injured too, on the, two people on the entourage. Okay, we are injured and they are receiving treatment right now. And uh, Nigerians are saying to Buhari, you see what you've caused? Can you see what you've caused? Are you happy now? Are you, are you happy now? Because you refuse to do what you should do, you refuse to do the right thing. And today, look at what has happened to you. This is just the tip of the iceberg of what, you know, happened to the ordinary man and woman, you know, ordinary Nigerians who are, who are applying that road. These are some of the things that happen to them. You know, and um, there is nobody to protect them, to save them, and to help them. Now it has happened to you. You're lucky you are not even on that, uh, you know, that thing. Just yes, just last night, the Koji Correction Center uh, terrorists went there to free Okara members. Their members, three um, went, went off. These are things that are happening. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. It is the most shameful thing. Nigerians react. A terrorist attack Buhari's convoy. Nigerians across the globe has described the terrorist attack on Buhari on the convoy of President Muhammad Buhari as the most shameful thing on the face of the earth and that could ever happen to a country <laughs> perceived to be the giant of Africa. What a shame. The reaction by citizens follow news reports that some terrorists launched attack on the president's convoy at held team who were headed for Dara Buhari's hometown for the Salah celebration. These were to go ahead of him and prepare way for the president to come. However, they were attacked by the Bokos. The reaction by citizens has followed that this is very shameful. President who will not look after his people, this is what happens to such an individual. Why the presidential spokesman Garuba Shewu has confirmed that the number one citizen was not on any of the vehicles on the convoy when the incident occurred, Nigerians feel it is a slap on the face of the entire nation and such a thing should not have happened in the first place. One of the citizens, Oluyemi, who reacted to the attack on Twitter, a microblogging site said the incident shows that no one, including the president, is safe. That's why the president family do not live in Nigeria. So who is safe? Who can be the one to deliver Nigeria? That's why Nigerians, you cannot afford to pick anybody as your president. You must be careful. Another user, Stephen says, Stephen Adams, he says, who reacted to the poll said, this is to show that there is no hope for this country. Hope is totally eroded. And that user, use you said, the attack on by terrorists on the presidential convoy is quite daring. So what? who else is left? What is happening in Nigeria? I mean, these are Nigerians. There's so, mo many, so much reactions. These are Nigerians from all over, I mean, all over the world. Everybody has heard what happened. And everybody is reacting and saying this is terrible. Okay, everyone is reacting. Everyone is saying this is unbelievable. How can we all be quiet and pretend that everything is well and, th and these people are causing devastation? Just last night, why the president and the rest of them? Because Buhari does not want to say anything. Okay, when you, when you take, when you take a, a, a lion, okay, a little cub of a lion as your, as your pet, you think it's a small cat, right? Relax, the cat is coming for you. Just give it a few years. When it grows, you'll be surprised that you cannot even carry and play with it like you used to. So these are some of the things that are going on. The president was greatly shamed. Okay, greatly sh in, not, in no small way, he was greatly shamed by the very people he has been supporting, you know, and uh, pretending that all is well. These are the very people who attacked his convoy. 
and the whole world is wondering, is there safety at all for any of the citizens? This is quite daring, if you ask me. Sincerely, truly quite daring. This people has gone above and beyond, and they don't care. Okay, they, of course, they've said their grievances again and again that uh, Buhari abandoned them and then they can't wait to lay their hands. So just imagine they lay their hands on the country, on the president. Is that not siege on the country? But that's what they've been doing to citizens. And Buhari will not even budge or say a word. He will pretend as if he's not, he's not hearing what is going on. That's the president supposedly, in quotes and unquote, who has the command of the army, who can say, you know what, this and that and that and that operation, get this done. But guess what, when you are a part of the pack, or you are one of the people aiding and supporting, and you are a grand patron of the very same group. Do you know yesterday we, pro we produced to you that um, the Buhari's government is still pushing that Fulanis be given space in the 36th state of the, of the Federation, in the whole, all of the states in the country, that if Nigerians want safety, they must give Fulanis ranch, okay, place for them to carry out their ranch. And I'm wondering, Nigeria, by the encyclopedia uh, or Google says, we have 375 languages. I've not counted it because there are some languages you may not have, you know, known about that are existing, okay? But they have carried out an intense research and they say Nigeria has 375 languages. Are we going to evenly distribute these 375 languages all across the 36 states of the Federation? Are we going to do that? Because what is good for the goose is good for the gangas, so that there is equality, fairness. This is what we are talking about. The shame of a nation is all greatly seen in the face of all that is happening. And unless we begin to call a spade a spade, and difference is truly and sincerely made, we are deceiving ourselves. And those things we thought about, that we think, you know, help is going to come all of a sudden, if we do nothing, you'll be shocked. It's not going to come. Because the president, the one who's supposed to be the commander-in-chief, is not, is not concerned about anything good happening to this nation. He has, he has you know, he's the one who is, you know, who is doing repentant Boko Haram programs and the rest. He's the one who's carrying out great deceit. In no small way, such things cannot be happening in today's day and age. And if things are going to change, he's going to start, it's going to start from him. But if he refuses to do anything, have you heard of the word called bypass? He'll be bypassed. Yeah, on the road, overtaking is allowed. So long as it is done decently and in order, overtaking is allowed. Okay, so long as it is safe, overtaking is allowed. So this is what is happening. Okay, and this is why every one of us must come on board and ensure that, you know, we stand for what is right. Okay, so this is what is going on right now. Leave us a comment. God bless. Bye for now.